Hey, 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 hey. How are you guys doing today on this lovely, wonderful, blessed Sunday afternoon? Or maybe morning where you are. It's afternoon where I'm at. <clears throat> uh, haven't heard anything from Rev or Shani today. They have been quiet so far. I I feel like we're going to hear from them before too long because I just they're not going to be able to not ask for money. That's going to have to be a thing. And um, not to mention she's probably not going to want to um, stay off for that long because this is, you know, her thing. This is kind of part of who Shani is. Um, she's not going to stay off long. Uh, so I had a couple of ideas, um, things that we could watch, um, some Shani, maybe some not Shani. Um, I wanted to start with one that I was thinking about because we were talking about the other day, somebody, now I'm not going to be able to remember who made a really good point, um, in regards to, um, The Shani, the timing of Shani in the channel getting taken down. Um, obviously, the petition is something that people have brought up. Um, you can't find his channel. Let me see, because Michael was telling me that earlier that he couldn't find his channel, and then I was able to find it. So let me check. I'll double check you guys really quick. And we'll see before I pull that. Um, but the video I'm going to pull up is not from very long ago. Obviously, because it has to do when she still had her channel. Um, but it's the one where she showed her face. Because that is the only one time since she started uh, doing these streams on this channel um, that she showed her face. And YouTube has facial recognition software. And that might be what happened. All right. So um, I just clicked. I just went and let me show you. I'll share the screen with you guys real quick. I am seeing his channel is still there. Um, in fact, why did I do that? Because I already had one open anyway. Duh. Oh, well. Rev Speaks. He's got 367 subscribers, uh, one short and two videos. There, it's still up. So, um, yeah, so it's still there. And and I'm I'm gonna watch one of those of him again too. I wanted to rewatch since they are short. Um, but we're gonna start with this one that. I'm just curious. I just want to see, like, A, how much she was trying to hide her face. Because I know that she was probably trying to do that. That's probably why she wears... Anyway, let me just pull it up instead of talking about it. Um, let's see. And this is going to be from Graveyard Flowers um, channel. And I'm posting the link in the chat to that channel make sure you go and um like and subscribe and give their channel some love they've been archiving the a lot of the recent stuff and so like all the shit that disappeared when her channel got taken down is on this channel um so that's definitely a good resource where you can find some stuff and this is the stream from april 17th 2023 11 days ago all right it's nothing to do Ugh. jason is Getting his uh, disability Hi, stuff all put together right now, so I'm doing bored. Good, I want to talk to people. You <sighs> notice she's like, I'm bored. I want to talk to people. 
but she ain't showing that face. She's trying to cover up that face. She's got that hoodie over, almost covering half of her face. I wonder why she got so bold that day. I'm trying to think back what was going on this day. Because I know she was streaming right before this. And I think the computer started doing the duck shit. And she got on her phone then at that point. And that's what this is being filmed with. I think. So I just, I can't remember. I Was it one of the days that they had therapy? I don't know. There, there has to be some reason she decided to show her mug that day. Compared to any other day. And could this be looking at this while we're watching this could this be what got her channel taken down because like i said people have brought up facial recognition and she showed her face and it wasn't too long after this when she showed her face that the channel did come down so anyway we're going to continue Black Belt BB said facial recognition software warts edition. <laughs> oh, warts. Tell us about the warts, Shani. Tell us about the warts. Oh, God. In the hotel room, and I to the hotel room <laughs> what mm, that's definitely not the right lyrics i'm gonna hotel to the oh lord sleep there we go we'll do a sleep stream what's up dark star f Three I have no life. It's okay. But you don't have a life either. My life is like, fuck it. I'm hurting, I'm in pain, and I'm forced to lay down and be bored with my stupid life. Dude. She really isn't showing her face very much in this. Like, I think she thought that she was going to be able to get away with this. And, and, and this might not have anything to do with why she got eaten, but I don't know. It was, I did not think about that until someone brought it up yesterday. And then it like clicked and I was like, oh my God, that might be exactly what it was. So, what we've got a couple of op options. We'll never know for sure, but I bet she's probably regretting showing her face on this one. <laughs> Shani, if you're watching this, um I'm I bet you're regretting that choice, aren't you? Because this might be why you're blaming everyone else once again when really you weren't supposed to have a channel anyway, but look, you showed your face. You knew you weren't supposed to do that if you were going to keep that channel. I know that's why you haven't shown your face in weeks and weeks. It's not because you think you're going to get 100,000 subscribers. Are you kidding? Nobody believed that shit. I hate arthritis. I hate being sick. What's I hate up, teddy bear? energy. Go sleepies. Oh. And relax. She's going sleepies. She sounds like a toddler. Uh, I'm going sleepy. My knee is killing me. You know, I think what's causing all this, like, body pain is, like, the weather fluctuating the way it is. It's annoying. Oh. That computer's annoying, too. Uh, here's a computer. Fucking nuts. 
How am I feeling? Like shit. Like shit. Pain. Dude, okay, I'm sure of it now. Watching this now, she's definitely trying to cover up her face. <laughs> she's making sure that hoodie stays where it is. Like she just moved a little bit and she pulled it right back down. Like she's literally obstructing her view. Why would she do that? Oh well, because she's so she she wants to be on. See the thing, the reason that she probably did this now that I'm thinking about it is because she's on her phone. So when she was on the computer, she had that little setup where the thing would be over their faces, right? But obviously she couldn't do that from her phone and she probably was just being lazy this day or whatever and was like, fuck it, I'll they're not gonna do anything. I'll just cover my face up with the hoodie. Mm-hmm. That might have been a really bad move, Shanny. Shit. I'm shit. That's how I feel. It's nice in Florida. <sighs> I don't want to go to Florida. I want to just, like, go on a fluffy cloud and float away. Why can't I be, like, in Dragon Ball Z and have, like, a Nimbus cloud to my own? Where I can just fly away wherever I want. Just sit on my little Nimbus and fly away. I think that'll work. Mm -hmm. I think that'll work. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. I'm bored. Um, that's a good question, Michael says. Um, devil's advocate don't think don't you think if they have facial recognition they would have vocal recognition good question i bet maybe they do i would think that that one would be harder to f would be um easier to fake than this one you know what i'm saying because you can kind of alter your voice a little bit you can't really do much of alter unless you're putting prosthetic stuff on your face like, you're not going to change your face that much. Um, so I wonder, and if it's, is that a thing? Does anybody know if YouTube has a vocal recognition? Google can extract any audio audio form, um, any audio, from, I'm thinking meant from any YouTube videos on real time. Hmm. It's a good question. Could have played into it, too. I'm waiting for the man to finish doing what he's doing. Oh, my God. It's like I'm actually doing something now. I know, man. I need your attention. I need all Damn, your... Damn, dude. Did you... When she smiled... Oh, my God. It's like I'm actually doing something now. I know, man. Damn. She... Those teeth are hanging on by a thread. She's going to have to do something about that. That'll be the next thing. Watch. She'll need money for that. I need your attention. I need all your attentions. Well, don't bitch at me for not doing shit, then. You could float in the ocean. That sounds like a good idea. Yep, the weather fluctuated, and it was 75 degrees yesterday, so we did yard work, but it's 55 and raining today, so I got a ton of mucus problems going on right now. I'm sorry about that. Wish I could nap. Uh, I would like Florida. Probably. Just go outside. Have a nice papaya or mango tree. And just enjoy that and watch the little green lizards. <laughs> Damn, there it was again. That one tooth looks like, I mean, it, she's gonna, it's gonna break any day now. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And, and that's connected to her front tooth, that big cavity or whatever. Oh boy. When that one breaks, it's gonna be real obvious <laughs> real 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 obvious i love florida i'll be honest i love the lizards in florida 
Um, Shiri, this is from the 17th of <laughs> April, so... Uh, what? The ocean. A week oh. and a half ago? Oh, I don't know. I don't know right now because, like, they having that, like, seaweed problem. So, like, would it even be good to, like, go to, like, Florida or something like that? I don't know. Go to the ocean and be covered in seaweed. That doesn't sound too fun. <laughs> Flowers are blooming like crazy. Oh, the smell. Oh, I love that smell. Mm. You just like drive by it and you get this nice. Yeah, she blames all of her um, teeth issues on that she used to have her tongue pierced. She claims that basically she like broke all her teeth when she had her tongue pierced. I've known, I've never had my tongue pierced, but I've known people who have. I don't remember them saying that happened. Have any of you in the chat, um, have you guys had tongue rings? And if you did, did they ever break any of your teeth? Nice floral scent. Mm. They don't have like blooming flowers around here. true wouldn't you take it out good point i would i mean if it was doing that you gotta think it had to fucking hurt <laughs> breaking your teeth you would think that yeah you would have one one broken spot happen or whatever chip and then you'd say okay i'm getting rid of this fucking thing but, honestly, with Shani, I would say that it's possible that she would do something still dumb like that just because she wanted to have her tongue pierced or some dumb shit. Like, she makes really horrible decisions. So, <laughs> she might would be the one that would, would do something like that and leave it in. Ow. My hip is driving me nuts. My hip and my knee, and I'm just like, fuck this world. I'm done. Lord Jesus, is there any way, sir, you could knock me out? Lord Jesus, and just it's a fire. take my pain away today. I'm miserable. I want it gone. Uh, you know, I probably too. I don't know. I tend to believe that uh, if you're able to get on something like this and talk and be on camera, I just find it hard to believe that you're in that much pain with what I'm looking at. Um, maybe some mild pain, but if you were in severe pain like what you kind of seem to want to claim that you're in i highly doubt you would be fooling with uh video rec you know recording yourself with your phone and shit especially when the computer crapped out you probably would have just been like boop calling it a day folks but no you keep going so i don't know shanny i don't really buy that uh you're in all that much pain. I think you just don't want to do anything. And you want the sympathy because you want the sympathy donos. It's actually like really simple. Too bad in pain to be on the live stream to tell you the truth. I want to do this. I need to. I need to gain some kind of money, man. And I guarantee you, I swear, I call this now. She is going to try to milk what just happened when she gets home. Or she is home, but when she gets online the next time. Might as well be her home. Um. So. Uh, she will. 
she will be using this for sympathy. And I, w- I was already thinking about, like, I wouldn't put it past her to, like, bandage her arm up or something. Like, I think she might would go to an extreme to lie. Because I think that her and Rev, I think that they have always been, you know, liars to a certain degree. But the lies that they are doing lately, in this past year, they are taking it to another level. I mean, the cancer shit and pushing that as far as she pushed it. Because, sure, she was saying years ago um, that she thought she had cancer. But she wasn't saying it as much and as detailed as she is now, like, getting mammograms, getting all this stuff done. Um, She really was pushing it this time with this. And now that it's, okay, she doesn't have cancer. All of that was all a big to do for nothing. It's a cyst. Now she's gonna, it's gonna be this. She knew she didn't have cancer. I don't think for one second she actually thought she had cancer. Even when she cried and did that whole thing, like I, looking back now, I really wonder if it wasn't freaking staged when he came home and she's like, they found something like the the whole thing is just so weird that she records herself in times like that too just like when her father passed away she got on there and recorded herself like having a mental breakdown like why are you recording stuff like that well because that gets her the most views and gets her sympathy from at least a few people And that's what's going on right now. A lot of people are smart enough to see that this woman is a a fraud, a scammer. And what they're saying now does not add up. Period. There's no way. I can't say definitively that she didn't go to the hospital and that this was all. But like. But it does not make sense if she did. It just, the the way, all the different things, when you put them together, it's like, it's just too much. Too much that doesn't make sense. And the fact that she's already home, when she literally, like, this is her second time attempting this in less than a year. And if that, like, I've never, thank God, had to be in that situation. but. If that is true, and they did let her out, what the fuck are we thinking, like, with our mental health care? Like, because that would be mind-blowing to me, if that was the case. It just seems like they would be, like, liable if something happened, because they didn't keep her in there. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what the the law is. I don't know how they handle things. I could be wrong. Um, but to me, the stuff that I'm seeing does not add up. It does not make sense. Uh, you're near Tarpon? I love Tarpon. Tarpon Springs is Gorgeous. Mmm. They're beautiful Greek restaurants. Just reminds me of the smell of the 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 ocean or the Gulf and then lemons. That's what tarpon smells like. The ocean and lemons. Mmm. <laughs> I used to go to Tarpon. Look, she's sitting here giggling. Giggling. I don't... Uh, Knitting Gamer, I see you. It's all a scam to stay in the house longer. Good point. That's a great point. Because now that they don't have the cancer thing, they gotta have another reason for the uncle. And, oh my god. But you know what? If that's what's going on, I have to believe... 
that uncle cannot be that like that stupid. If that's what's going on, he's probably on to them, and the shit's about to hit the fan, and he's gonna be kicking them out because she's taking the shit. They're taking the shit too far. And if they really, if he wasn't gonna work, if neither one of them were, gonna, they should have filed for unemployment or for disability. Uh, years ago, at this point, <laughs> fuck months, years ago, and she literally her excuse is she has a, a phobia of paperwork. I don't like doing paperwork either. I've filed for disability before. Granted, Michael helped me, so <laughs> I didn't do it all by myself. But like, you just do it, you get it done, so that you like. <laughs> They they can't even manage to get the fucking paperwork sent. He's like started the paperwork but hasn't sent it yet. Like wh- what? And you do it online. It's just I can't. And he's going to talk about um disability in this in a second. So I'm glad this is kind of coming full circle because he's going to talk about that. Springs to get my lemons all the time Spenico pizza ah oh. <sighs> No, I block people too. Hello, hope all is well. No. Just whining. <laughs> I'm just whining. I'm a miserable sack of shit. <clears throat> I'm sorry we all gotta whine sometimes. Yeah, I guess so. Ooh, sorry. At least you could laugh through the pain. Yeah, you have to. Like, yeah, <laughs> you have to laugh through everything you go through, mm-hmm. or life will be a lot tougher if you don't. I always try to crack jokes when I go to the hospital, though, man. Uh, Why? My monkey bread looked good. It tasted good too, man. You should try out that recipe. It's bomb. Bomb diggity. It's bomb. No, I wouldn't trust anything that came out of her kitchen. No fucking way. Mm. Yeah, try the recipe. It's easy. It's cheap. And it's just so good, and it's just like, oh, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. It's very much like a strudel. What makes it monkey bread? I don't know why they call it monkey bread. They just do. You mean you may actually? All right, here, here we go. Listen to this. Let me go back a little bit. Um. Make sure you listen to this because this is where he's about to start talking about disability. And just listen to, it sounds like complete bullshit. Especially if you've ever filed for disability before or know anything like firsthand experience. You're going to see why this is, doesn't add up. They just do. You mean you may actually... Be getting your disability right away? Yeah. Because I was cleared for it already. And they're like, oh, it's you. Oh, my God. Seriously? It looks like I might get it fast. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I'm really excited. They better... Uh, all I can say is now that she lost the channel, he better have got that fucking paperwork done, boy. Better get on it. But... He's telling her this shit. I don't know if he really believes it or what, but like, 
she's fallen for it for sure. I think she genuinely believes what he's saying is possible because she doesn't know <laughs> obviously anything about it. Like, Shani. <laughs> they just knew who he was. Like, come on. You. Oh. Let me go back and hear. I want to hear that do. again. You mean you may actually be getting your disability right away? Yeah. You notice too, like Shani, she motherfucking lit up when she heard that shit. She's like, you mean you actually might be getting your, like knowing she's the one that needs to be on disability if, it, if either of them do, because she's the one that literally can't fucking walk. Her eyes like dollar signs, like ka ching, ka ching. <laughs> she lights up like a Christmas tree. You mean you may actually be getting your disability right away? Yeah, because I was cleared for it already. And they're like, Oh, it's you. Oh my god, seriously? It looks like I might get it fast. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I'm really excited. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really excited, Jenny. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Um, this is because of my therapist. She got all this stuff for me. It's because of my therapist, Jenny. Hi, friend. How are you? Hi. That And then now Shani's getting a little cocky. She's going to be showing a little too much of that face. This was a bad idea, Shani, to show your face. I really think... You may have gotten got off of the, of the platform by this, and everybody else is like arguing and talking about all this other shit. The shit you're trying to blame it on, like no, nope. You you are always your own downfall, and you never see that, which is why you continue to make the same mistakes over and over again, and you never learn. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Heck yeah, that's a sick break you guys really need. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Jason may get on disability right away. No. God. So, that's good. He's got his stuff for it. They're in for a rude awakening. Chelsea, I need more coffee too. Okay, what are we doing here? Yeah, I know. I'm so happy about that. Like, we won't have to struggle like we have been. That'll be awesome. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? I don't get it. Oh. <sighs> Oh, yeah, she needs money, I'm sure. All perpetual entropy, thank you for the super chat. You said, personally, I think it's all staged. I think that they think if people see that they're trying, people will donate. I think that that's probably spot on. Um, they're definitely trying some different shit. And that's what I mean, like, this, you know, whole thing that just went down. Um, if it's fake, a lot of freaking planning and calculating and shit went into it. And that is pretty fucking sick and messed up. If they did that for attention or, like, wow. But the crazy thing is, 
most people, I would never believe that. But with them, at this point, I'm like, nothing would shock me. Don't put rumors in my chat. I'll block you for that. I'll block you for that, too. Making the way how someone looks when they're sick is really tasteless. It's really tasteless. Whatever. You can have that karma on your back. I don't want it. Yeah, this is from April 17th. I don't want it. It's like a week and a half ago, I think. Mm. I don't got the energy to be angry anyway, so your attempt to get me to rage is actually a utter failure. For I don't have the energy for that. God, I don't have the energy. Or, or the want. There's that. Make fun of people's looks is really shallow, yeah. You want dancing? You can dance if you want to. You can leave it all behind. What? He's a sexy man. Look how good looking he is. What? You have me on camera? Yeah, oh, you're good looking. Oh, God. Camera, dude. What the fuck? I didn't there was a Gavin. Wow. That would piss me off. What, what about you? Like, if you're at home and you're just trying to chill, like, you're in your pajamas and shit, all of a sudden you realize that the person in the room with you is recording you. Thanks a lot, dude. Man, look how good looking he is. What you have me on camera? Yeah, you're good no, looking. You have me off camera, dude. What the fuck? I didn't there was a Gavin. Kind he, of there we go. We'll stare at Gavin. Hi, Gavi. I need the phone to get this information. Oh, I gotta go, guys. Jason has stuff to do. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, so now, next, on to the next thing. I want to see, I want to rewatch a couple of things on this uh, Rep Speaks channel. I want to watch the one, not the bad one, but I want to watch the update one from yesterday, and then I want to watch the next one again. They're both really, really short. I just want to analyze this and what he says again. See if we can catch him in any lies now that uh, we've had time to think about this stuff. Because I, I really do. I think that I think this whole story might be complete bullshit. Might be. Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Rev here. Um, I figured I would just uh, give an update. It's a small update that I have. Um, I called the hospital to see how things are going, um, and literally Shani's getting the treatment she needs. That's, that's what they told me. That's a quote. You know, she's getting the treatment she needs. Don't worry about her. Um, so, once again, I don't know if they're going to keep her, uh, maybe one, one or two more days. I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um, but what's happening needs to happen, and, um, she's at a, in a good place, um, so don't worry about that. You don't need to call hospitals and stuff. Don't worry about that, okay? She's in a good place. And, um, every All right, hold up. See, this is the part that, st that stands out to me. Keep her, uh, maybe one, one or two more. On, go I back. called the hospital to see how things are going. Um, and literally, Shani's getting the treatment she needs. That's... And the way that he words that, he's like, I called the hospital to see how things are going, and literally, she's getting the help. Like, why literally? That's just, that's a weird thing to say. Of course, literally. Like, what? 
update that I have. Um, I called the hospital to see how things are going. Um, and literally, Shani's getting the treatment she needs. That's, that's... Wow. Did you notice he just shook his head? No. Look at this. Watch his, watch his head and what he does when he's saying this. Because it's not congruent with what he's saying. His body is saying something different than what's coming out of his mouth. Oh, wait. I, I called the hospital to see how things are going. All right, why? Um, and literally, Shani's getting the treatment she needs. That's like that's what they time. told me. That's a quote. Big time just took his head and said, nope. Nope. Don't believe you, Rev. Your body's telling me something different. You know, she's getting the treatment she needs. Don't worry about her. Um, so, once again, I don't know if they're going to keep her uh, maybe one. He's shaking his head no again, too. One or two more days? I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um, the whole time he's saying all this, he's shaking his head no. But what's happening needs to happen. And, oh, um, but there it changes a little bit. What happens needs to happen. Well, yeah, he can probably ad agree with that. Let me go back a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um, one or two more days, I don't know. I'm not sure of that. Um, but what's happening needs to happen. And um, she's at a, in a good place. Um, so don't worry about that. You don't need to call hospitals and stuff. Don't worry about that, okay? She's in a good place. And um, everything that needs to be done is being done for her. And um, just don't worry about her. Pray for her. As, as I'm continually praying for her. Oh. You pray for her too. He shook his head no for that too. When he said I'm continually, continually playing. Play. My God. Why can't I talk? Continu continually praying. Jesus. Lord in heaven. All right, let me go back a little ways because he's shaking. He shakes his head no through that whole fucking thing, pretty much. One part, one small part, he shakes it yes. But when he's saying this part, oh, let me play it. And done for her. And um, just don't worry about her. Pray for her as, as I'm continually praying for her. He says, pray for her as I'm continually praying for her. And while he's saying that, he's shaking his head no. Like, he's not praying for her. Why? Because she's sitting next to him on the couch, I'm sure. He knows she's fine. He don't have to pray for her. And um, she's at a, in a good place. Um, so don't worry about that. You don't need to call hospitals and stuff. Don't worry about that, okay? She's in a good place. And um, everything that needs to be done is being done for her. And um, just don't worry about her. Pray for her. As I'm continually praying for her, you pray for her too. Um, but I have been seeing some people out there that want me to do donation link type things so that you know where you can give. And I really appreciate that because if I want to see her, I, need, I pretty much need to get a cab at this point. So if you want to donate. He starts getting real fidgety at that shit. Real fidgety. Um, Bruce, thank you for the super chat. You said um, these two will do anything to get their next donation. You don't have to call hospitals. Yeah, because she's not at the hospitals. It's so obvious. Yeah, he, tell, he tells on himself with this shit. He always does. He always does. Um, Melly Germany says, Carrie, one thing I wondered about and I write and will write and ask Shani is why she filmed herself when she was listening to the clip of you from three months ago. Why she filmed herself? I'm not sure why she filmed herself. The I know the clip that um in question that supposedly she watched um is from three months ago. But I'm not sure about um, her, why she would be filming herself when she was, why was she filming herself when she was listening 
to the clip from three months ago. Uh, maybe you're asking what was going on then that she was that upset. Um, that was when she had lost Twitch. That was like the day after she lost uh, the Twitch account went down. And um, so she was, you know, not wanting to be on this planet. And she said she didn't want to hurt herself, but she said, you know, she doesn't want to be in this world. <clears throat> so hopefully that answered um, your question, Melly. Um, all right. I want to pay attention to this part. When he starts talking about the money, I want to pay attention to his body language because he's saying that other people brought it up to him and like, we're like, oh, how do we donate? We want to donate. I don't believe that. <laughs> I think this is just him wanting people to donate. So I want to pay attention to what his body language shows here in this part. Give, and I really appreciate in some people out there that want me to do donate. But I have been seeing some people out there that want me to do donation link type things so that you know where you can give. And I really appreciate that because if I want to see her, I need, I pretty much need to get a cab at this point. So if you want to donate, um, I'll put the donation links in the, in the description in this video. Okay. So, um, just pray for Shani. Okay. She's gone through a lot. All right. God bless guys. He was definitely fidgety. He didn't really shake his head back and forth. Let me look one more time. I want to see her. I need. I pretty much need to get a cab at this point. So, if you want to... He, like, rolls his eyes right there. When he says, I got to get a cab at this point. I much need to get a cab at this point. Like, so... He kind of rolls his eyes. If you want to donate, um, I'll put the donation links in the in the description in this video. Okay. So, um, just pray for Shani. JPM, thank you for the super chat. You said, anybody else get Charlie Bucket vibes from Jason since he's become poor and emaciated? He's lost his golden ticket. <laughs> oh, JPM, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Poor Jason, poor Rev. Yeah, right. No, I don't feel bad for him at all. <laughs> he deserves all of it. Okay. She's gone through a lot. Thanks All again, right. JPM. God bless, guys. Okay. Let me see. All right, now we're going to watch the other one. This is... All right, I really want to pay attention to this one. This is when she comes home. This is only a few hours after what we just watched, right? And for whatever reason, he looks really high to me in this video so pay attention to that but also let's pay attention to the body language and see if his body language is lining up with what's coming out of his mouth uh, Melly Germany asks so that clip they showed was from an old live stream why would she only now react badly to it now if this happened months ago um, apparently somebody sent her a clip that, that, um, it was a clip that somebody sent her. It's from a stream where I, it's a lot more that I say, um, somebody took it, chopped it to that like 30 second clip or whatever and send it to her. Now that's at least that's her story is that somebody sent it to her and she watched it and you know, so I don't know if that's true, but I do know that it's from three months ago. And so I think it's, you know, kind of um, wild that uh, that's what's being, you know, reacted to now and causing problems for her and not her losing her channel. Because I'm pretty sure she's more worried about that. <clears throat> Still not worried about the kids. <laughs> they don't show up on that on that scale. It's uh, she didn't act. She doesn't act remotely um, close to being as upset about 
losing them and not being around them as she does about losing her YouTube channel. It's really sad for the kids, you know? But... Hey guys, I got really good news and I'm really excited because uh, Shani just showed up at the door like not like 10 minutes ago. So I'm really excited about that. I'm happy. And she just showed up at the door. That's the first part that already is like, what? What? She just showed up at the door. She didn't call. She did nothing. That seems weird. Billy, thank you for the super chat, Billy. You said, I am a, of the firm belief Shani never left the house. She somehow blocked me and others on Twitter when she was allegedly in the hospital. And you know she would never give Rev permission to block people. Oh, interesting, Billy. Yeah, the more that time goes on, the more I'm believing that she did not leave the house and one of the main reasons why at this point is just the timeline um i just don't believe if what they said was true and she cut herself up really bad i don't believe they would be letting her out that quickly that just doesn't i don't believe that personally and then they let her out that quickly and they just sent her home and she isn't able to call him first. They just show up at the house with him at the door with her at the door. That just seems that just doesn't really make sense. I mean, there's communication is like so easy these days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like even when you're in a hospital or something like you have the, she would have had access to a phone to be able to call him. He obviously had the phone because he was recording with it while she was gone. And he said that he took the phone, I think, in the first video. So anyway, let's see. And um, but to let you know something, I want you to know that she's expressed to me. She has no idea if she's going to ever come back and do anything. So um, but good news. She's home. Everything's over. I'm never going to talk about this again, ever, okay? It's all over. It was a rough time. Thank you for the people that were kind and loved on us and, and helped out. You know, God bless you guys. Everybody else can go to hell. Hey, wow. guys. I wow. He is so smug. Bruce, thank you for the super chat. You said they made her story elaborate. Oh, she watched a Carrie video, and here's the audio. Please send money. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of it that just... It just... What, what is it my mom used to say? Some, something smells rotten in the state of Denmark. Is that what she... The saying she used to say? I don't know where the hell that comes from, where she got it from, but I think she used to say that. Or still does say that. Um, may, basically it means something is not making sense and uh, that's definitely the case here I'm uh, it's just not adding up for me but I'm going to let this play one more time and then we're going to move on to something else I got really good news and I'm really excited because uh, Shani just showed up at the door like not like 10 minutes ago so, and the fact she just shows up at the door and 10 minutes ago and he's already fucking recording a fucking video. Um, seriously? 10 minutes in? Who does that? Your girlfriend slash wife, whatever you want to call her, literally just got home from the hospital after going through this traumatic ordeal and the first thing within 10 minutes that you do is get on youtube which is pretty much most likely if she did actually go what landed her there like neither one of you need a fucking youtube account besides the fact that you're ban evading and you're not supposed to fucking have one you don't need one 
This shit isn't for you. You guys cannot fucking handle it. Or you think that you're just going to be able to scam people and get away with it. And it's not going to happen. People are fucking sick of it. They're sick of it. The petition, all that, like, people are fucking sick of it because you took it to another level. You've lied about having cancer. Now you're lying about things to do with this. I'm not going to say definitively whether you're lying about it for sure or not. But I don't believe, even if it's not, I don't believe it played out the way that you're saying. I don't believe that you saw, were watching one of my videos, that clip, and that sent you over the edge. I don't believe that. I don't believe you would care more about that that in that moment than the fact that you had just lost your YouTube channel, which was your way of making money. And you knew that you were going to have a check coming in. You guys have probably been banking on that. And here it is. Time's going by. You're getting closer and closer. Bam. Done. That's, if anything sent you over the edge, that's what fucking sent you over the edge. You just wanted to get revenge And you thought, well, if my channel went down, I'm taking her channel with me. And so you fucking say that, say that, and and you're actually trying to blame this crap on me. When, look at your life, Shani. Look at everything that has happened and is going on. You're going to tell me you're worried about me. I don't, uh uh-uh, you're not. That's bullshit. And the other thing is, I'm not sending you my videos and streams. I'm not in your chat talking to you. I'm not sending you emails. I'm not calling you. I'm not trying to contact you in any way. The only way that you're going to see my content is if you choose to get online and look at it. That's not stalking you, and that's not harassing you, that's not bullying you. Like, literally, I don't have contact with you. If you don't want to see shit, if it upsets you that much, then just don't come to my channel and bam, you won't see it. Block me, whatever you feel like you need to do. But I'm not going to take the blame for what you're, this what you're trying to say, this narrative that you're trying to push. It's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And especially if you're lying about the entire thing. Oh, God. I'm really excited about that. I'm happy. And, um... But to let you know something, I want you to know that she's expressed to me. She has no idea if she's going to ever come back and do anything. Yeah, right. So, um, but good news. She She has no idea she's going to come back. She'll be back on before a week passes. Give it a freaking couple of days or something. She'll be on here. A hundred percent. She'll be on here. Or she'll be on Rumble or Instagram. She'll be somewhere. Like, Shani, uh, she's not going to stay. She said this whole same thing, did this something pretty much almost exactly the same as to when she lost her Twitch. She's home. Everything's over. I'm never going to talk about this again, ever. Of course you're okay? not. Okay, it's all over. It was a rough time. Thank you. And he's already saying, I don't, I'm never going to talk about this again. I wonder why. Because he knows people are about to be asking him questions and wanting explanations for things. So, oh, I'm not going to ever talk about it again. That's convenient. Thank you for the people that were kind and loved on us and, and helped out. You know, God bless you guys. Everybody else can go to hell. Hey, guys, I got really good news, and I'm really excited because uh, Shani just showed. And that beginning part, hey, guys, I got really good news. and It just sounds so, like, 
uh, contrived. You know what I mean? Not genuine. Put up at, all. at the door like not like ten minutes ago. So I'm really excited about that. I'm happy, and um, but to let you know something, I want you to know that she's expressed to me she has no idea if she's going to ever come back and do anything. So um, and the only reason she's having him say that is because she wants people to beg for her to come back. That's what she get out of this. She put him up to this. Guarantee it. Guarantee fucking tea it. She wants people to say, to send her, sending her stuff, making videos, doing whatever, saying, please, Shani, come back. We miss you. We need you. It's not the same without you, Shani. You're wonderful, Shani. That's what she's waiting for. She's like, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the movie Sunset Boulevard. So she's like, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. That's Shani. Delusional. <laughs> Delusional. Um, But good news. She's home. Everything's over. I'm never going to talk about this again. Ever. Okay? It's all over. It was a rough time. Thank you for the people that were kind and loved on us and, and helped out. You know, God bless you guys. Everybody else can go to hell. Okay. Hey, guys, I got really good. Uh, we've seen that enough times now. All right. So here is the question. Do you guys want to continue watching um, Shanny stuff? Or would you like to switch it up and we can watch something else? Like maybe Karen videos or arrest videos, or fail videos, uh, whatever. We'll find something to watch. If you would, if you want to watch more Shanny, put a one in the chat. If you want to watch something else different than Shanny, put a two in the chat. And let's see what you guys want to do. I figure y'all are probably going to say Shanny. That's usually the way it goes. Okay. I'm seeing ones. So the next question would be then. What era. Do we want to watch? Do you want to watch old shanty stuff or would you rather watch some more of the recent shanty stuff if you would rather watch old shanty put a one in the chat and if you would like to watch newer shanty put a two in the chat anything where she rages All right, sounds like it's going to be old. So let me um, pull up some stuff for you guys. Let's see. I'm going to go to... All right, this is the Shabby for Christ archive. Let me uh, grab the link real quick. We're going to start over here and watch a couple of things. Um, maybe we should watch this one. I don't think I've seen this one about Kratom. This is an enraged one though um let's see what other options are in here is she crying there what the fuck 
There's the Paris one. Oh, God. This one's bad. I don't know. Are y'all okay with getting triggered? Because she's, she's mean in this one, but she's also offensive as all get out. Then we also have this one here. Let me play this one. Um, Guido, thank you for the super chat. You said arrest video. Uh-oh. Do you guys want to see the arrest video? I can definitely um, pull that one up if you guys would like. Let me show you this. My man. This one really quick. Because some of you might not have seen this one and it's funny. She's got a flipper or something in her mouth in this. And it's affecting the way she's talking. But she's definitely fucking pissed off at somebody. I don't know what girl pissed her off, but. To the whore that's trying to get after my man, please don't do that. Please don't go after my man. Because it's not good for you. He's a married man. You claim you're a Christian woman. And you're coming on to my man. Like, are you that desperate that you have to come on to a married man when he's not with his wife? Are you, like, that desperate? You know, you, you think you can use that as an opportunity to steal my man. While last year, you kept coming on saying I was having an affair. Obviously, bitch, it's you that's trying to have an affair. And uh, the adulteress. Isn't that funny how you get exposed for being a slut after slut shaming? Uh-oh. But seriously, you coming on to my man makes you a whore. Uh-oh. And, um... Whore. I'm not going to sit down very quietly over that. Whore. You're a slut. Whore. 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 I think she thinks she's a whore, guys. I think she thinks she's a whore. Um, let's see. What other little one? Oh, I know which one. Okay, we're going to watch this one, and then we'll watch the arrest video, I think, if that's what you guys would like to see. Now, I'm going to give a trigger warning. This is offensive. All right, all right, all right. So, the name of this is I Love Black People But. All right? Trigger warning. She doesn't say the N-word or anything. But this is this is not a, this one is gonna piss you off. But I think it's important to show people the kind of shit that that Shani has said. Because boy, she said some doozies. So I'm not done. And this is from 2019, by the way. May it looks like May 5th or um May 1st, 2019. Is the racism thing. I'm not yet. I have more to say on the issue. Because I really, I really want to see this victim mentality that has been brainwashed into the African American culture to go away. Because I honestly think they're using the whole we were slaves thing as a crutch. As a crutch to stop them from achieving greatness in which they can achieve. They use it as an excuse of not getting out of a, a really bad situation they're in. You know, I lived in... This does not age well. This does not age well at all. Because keep in mind, this is back when Shani still had money. This was when Shani and Rev were doing okay. So she she felt pretty untouchable back then. She could say whatever the fuck she wanted to, right? 
because she wasn't having to beg for money back then. So she could have these <laughs> hot takes and and get away with it. Not get away with it, but, you know, now she she minds her manners a little bit more because she know, she's all because they're always begging for money. It's in which they can achieve. They use it as an excuse of not getting out of a, a really bad situation they're in. Um, Lily, you asked if Shani is really in the hospital. She was in the hospital, supposedly at least. Um, but she is back at home now. So she came home from the hospital yesterday. You know, I lived in the projects before. I've lived in low-income housing. I, I've been poor off my ass. Do y'all believe she ever lived in the projects? Because I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that. You know, I've been arrested unrighteously. I know how it is, okay? No, I get it. Okay. I fucking know how it is. You were not arrested unrighteously. You were arrested because you put your hands on, on your spouse. And that's domestic violence. And it's a crime. Like, what are you talking about? You you a hundred percent deserved to be arrested. It is but you can get yourself out of that situation. You keeping all these excuses of why you can't get out of the situation that you're in. Wow. It's That's just going does. to keep you stuck in that victim mentality dude this did not age well at all all of this shit she's saying applies to her now like listen to that what she just said it's exactly what they do exactly but back then they still had money so she didn't ever foresee how her life was going to be turning and going in just a very short little while. But back then, she was still high on the hog. And uh, it shows. Situation that you're in is just going to keep you stuck in that victim mentality when you're not a victim anymore. When you can achieve so much as a black person in America, you have so many grants, you have so many programs that are utilized to help the black man to get out of precarious situations. And here's the thing, me as a white person, if I'm struggling, I can't go into those programs because I'm white. That in itself is racist. But there are white programs. Not just white, but they're like, oh my god, this woman. And I would say against the law that only certain programs catered to a certain minority. You know, what about, what about, you know, a white single mother who needs help? I can't get the same thing that a black, a black single mother can get. Yeah, you can. Because she has more programs than a white woman. And then you guys talk. That's not true. <laughs> what are you talking about, Shani? You're you've been you've been refused um help from a program because you were white? I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. Billy, thank you for the super chat, hun. You said back then Rev could work a cash register and add two and two. And speaking of grants, since she is not and since she's native, she could get grants for school. That's right. She's native. I forgot she said that. Lord have mercy. Talk about this white privilege thing where I see there's more black privilege, black privileges in this country than white privileges. And a lot of people are going to turn you're against me and be like, oh, you're being racist. You're being racist. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. I know what's out there for programs to help. You're not being racist, you're being honest. I hate to tell you, you can be both at the same time. You're being racist and honest. You're being honest, alright? And it's racist as fuck.
you out when you're really fucking poor. Because I was really fucking poor. It's shit dirt poor. Like. Don't worry. Soon you're going to be back there again, Shani. This is this is us in the future. Yeah, you're going to be dirt poor soon. Yeah, you should have made some better, wiser choices than sitting here worrying about saying dumb shit like this. My God. I don't want to go back to that living situation again, I'll say that. But if I do, I know what to do. And I know I can survive it. What? You don't act like that You know, and I know my boys can survive it. You know, because we can survive anything. We're a tough-ass, you know, crew. Oh, man. That's kind of sad because, man, her kids have been through a lot since this video was recorded. 2019? Mm. Those kids have been through a lot since then. They've seen a lot since then. But to use the an event that happened that has nothing to do with any of us. White people alive today have nothing to do with what happened 200 years ago. Black people alive have nothing to do with what happened 200 years ago, okay? All those people involved in the slavery thing is dead. Now, granted... There were the um, segregation that happened in America 50, no, 70 years ago now. 70 years ago. Melly, what are you, I, I'm, Melly, what is your, what's your question? Are you asking me a question? If you um want to to know in depth about what uh went down i made a stream about it um yesterday I believe yesterday morning was when i did it hold on let me grab the link for you since you have so many questions here um Let me stop everything I'm doing so I can answer Melly's question here. Here you go, Melly. I'm dropping the link to the stream that I did yesterday where I go over all of that. That will explain it all for you. Okay? So let's get back to this video now. But you're still crying over that. You're still whining over that. Even though it didn't even happen to you. Your grandmother lived through it, but you didn't live through it. So I don't understand why you're you're talking about this disparity, but you did not go through it. Your family members went through it. Why are you acting like it was you? Wow. You, you know, I, I mean, you, you talk about the black slavery. No one talks about the Irish slaves. No one talks that we were actually, you know, sold for a half a pence while the black slaves were sold for seven pence. Black people were worth more than the Irish. But they never talk about the Irish slaves. Instead... Leave it to Shani to make slavery about her. I mean, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. She's trying to compare shit like, Shani, fucking stop. Oh. You, you talk about the black slavery. So no one talks about the Irish slaves. No one talks that we were actually, you know, sold for a half a pence while the black slaves were sold for seven pence. Black people were worth more than the Irish. But they never talk about the Irish slaves. Instead... They just talk about the black slaves, and then they put the Irish people in the same quality, the same, the same race as the people who put both of our peoples into fucking slavery. It's not about you, Shane. But should I just continue on hating the white man for making my ancestors that are no longer alive today? Huh? 
responsible? Should I continue to make dead what dead men did and make a whole people responsible for what dead men did? I don't think it's fair. I've always thought it was fucking stupid, the whole race thing. Um, that's why I make race jokes and stuff like that. You know, because I, I, I think it's stupid. I think the whole race issue is dumb and stupid. You know, to me, I thought we got over that in the 80s and 90s. You know, I thought we were doing good. But it seems like when Obama became president, the race issues started up again for no reason other than fucking stupid skin color. And to come to me and and, and tell me... I'm responsible for slavery, something you weren't involved in and I wasn't involved in. I'm just going to tell you to fuck off. And I'm going to say that you're stupid. And I'm going to tell you you're ignorant. And I'm going to tell you that you weren't involved in it. Why are you whining about something you weren't involved in? Wow. See, I told you it's bad. It's really bad. Um, some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said, I just called Shani a potato head bitch. And that made me realize those aren't warts. They're sprouts. <laughs> oh my God. A potato head bitch. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Some idiot. And for the laugh. That was funny. Sprouts. Warts. Warts. Tell us about the warts. You Tell know, about the slavery sprouts, was an atrocity. It was horrible. You were lied to by, and this is so funny, you were lied to by the Democrats. Jeez Louise. If you remember your history, you may not. You just know about the things that, you know, you ignorantly were brainwashed into thinking. It was the Democrats that promised the black man a house, a mule, and land, and they did not keep their pra their promise. It was the Democrats that prom again. It was the Democrats that promised you a house, a mule, and land, and they did not do what they promised you. Or it wasn't you. It was people that are dead now. They promised. And they didn't keep their promises. But like I said, I paid my reparations, even though my people were not involved in slavery. I paid for my reparations. I did the right thing. You know, which most people don't do, but I did. Oh, she's a saint, isn't she? Even though my people were not involved. Okay, I if I was in that time, I would have been the people. I would have been one of those people running the Underground Railroad. I would have had. <laughs> what? I forgot about this. Oh my God! Did she really just say that? <sighs> Shanny. Wow. I did the right thing. You know, which most people don't do, but I did. Even though my people were not involved. Okay. I if I was in that time, I would have been the people I would have been one of those people running the underground railroad. I would have had just the funnish shit with it. Aw oh, dude, it would be so cool. It's like, nah. Get G-Man and put him in the freaking closet, and I'm just going to stand in front of the closet and pretend that I'm dressing. G-Man, if you see a little side boob, I'm sorry, okay? I'm saving your motherfucking black ass. No, get get the G-Man, get in the fucking closet. Get in the closet. Don't you, don't you be giggling. There's fucking cars outside the door. Shut the fuck up, G-Man. And I'll shut the door, and I'll stand up, and I'll pretend that I'm changing. What? Uh, what? That's what I would do. Melly, the clip of her watching me is from months ago. What part of this are you not understanding? It's from when she lost her Twitch. That's what the video is that I'm reacting to that 
that she supposedly watched. It's from three months ago. It's from January. Do. Welcome to the Underground Railroad, which I would be like totally. I would. I, I wish something like that would happen. That would be so cool. Except I think they're doing that now with the peop- the caravan in Mexico, which is totally stupid. Because you're you are a possibility. You're housing a drug lord, or a rapist, or oh, Mex. I'm sorry. South America is really dangerous and has really messed up people. I'm just saying. I say wall that up. You know, wool is an ancient technology. Yeah, an ancient technology that has worked for years, quite like the wheel or fire. Fire and the wheel are ancient technologies. We're still using them. So is gears. Gears are ancient technology. We're still using that. Mirrors are ancient technology. We're still using mirrors. Uh, and why and if the wall didn't work why do we have a wall you know up above you know the white house and why does obama have a 10 foot wall protecting him and why does all these other rich ass people have fucking walls protecting them if they can't i mean I, she's really just going on a tangent here democrats are fucking stupid and they're fucking excuses but anyway well, Republicans are fucking stupid, too. Let's just say, all of mankind is stupid. Let's go back to the subject before I got sidetracked. Forgive me. I've had about 400, maybe 500 milligrams of uh, THC. So I'm, 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 I'm really like... Wow. So... That's what you're like on weed? Good Lord. Yeah. Why? 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 I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing it. It's so fucking stupid to me. It's like, you're blaming me for something that you weren't even involved in, and I wasn't even involved in, but your ancestors were involved in, and you're still keeping it as something relative, relative, relevant today. And all you're doing by keeping the past alive, even though the past should be dead, like seriously, get the fuck over it. The Irish got over it. I think you can get over it. The Jews even got over their slavery. I think they can get over it. I think you can get over it. You you, you know, instead, instead of being in bondage in your body, you're in bondage in your mind, man. You're, you're allowing an event that wasn't even involved in you to keep you in bondage, keep you in this mentality where you're hating your fellow man based on their skin color, something you didn't want to be judged on. But yet you judged a white man for something they weren't even involved in, you weren't even involved in, something that happened 200 years ago. Why the fuck are you screaming? Good lord, you don't have to yell to make your point, Shani. My god. She, like, her neighbors must have loved her. Because they lived in an apartment at this time this was going on. She's screaming at the top of her lungs. It's done! It's over with! Can we please move the fuck on from these stupid race issues? Oh, it's so fucking stupid. Why do you think I do the fucking race jokes and stuff? I'm trying to make it lighthearted. You know, I'm trying to make it lighthearted. I don't give a fuck if your melanin count is higher than mine. I don't give a fuck if you're Chinese or Japanese or Indian. I don't care what your race is. As long as you're not a dick to me, as long as you're not a judgmental douchebag to me, I'll get along with you. I'll be like, hell yeah. Mm. I fucking love Uh -uh. this shit. No. You know, I'll tell you. (laughs) Most of my life, my, my best friends were black. Oh, here we go. Most of my best friends in my life were black. Go figure. Probably because I... Not that. Not that move. 
Well, I'm not racist because I have black friends. Shani, come on. I am a black woman. Truthfully. Wait, what? Most of my best friends in my life were black. Go figure. Probably because I am a black woman. What? Truthfully. I am a black woman? Truthfully? What? Where is she going with this? Holy shit. Most of my best friends in my life were black. Go figure. Probably because I am a black woman. Truthfully. What? I've gone through everything a black woman has gone through. Shanny. Holy shit. I can't. Like, I didn't remember she said this. Like, what? Okay. I am a black woman. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I am a fucking black woman. Okay? I, you know what? Let me be my transracial self, okay? Don't be fucking judging me. Transracial? So, anyway. What? Hell, you can ask my mama. My nanny was black. Wow. Yeah. The, the Yeah, her nanny was black, yet she claims that she used to use the N-word all the time when she was growing up because it was the 80s and the 90s and people use it. Nobody used that word back then either, except for racists. Like, oh, God. The first person... I believe this. The first person to ever truly love me was a black woman. She just saw that in a movie or some shit. She's making this shit up. She is making this shit up. How how can you say that you grew up in the projects and shit, but then say that you had a nanny? Um, am I crazy? Or, you know, people that live in the projects usually can't afford to have nannies. And I've held that in my heart for my whole life. And I love that woman. Even though I don't really remember her. Of course you I don't. I remember that love. Because she doesn't exist. I remember that love. Oh my god. I, bet I'm always gonna I would love to know what if her mother ever confirmed this or not. Whether or not that she ever had a nanny. Is Sabella in here still? Do you know Sabella? Anybody that was around during that time? Did she really have a nanny? Or is this just some fucking story she came up with? And I love that woman. Even though I don't really remember her. I remember that love. And I'm always going to remember that love. So, you know. And nothing's greater than a black than a black woman's love. Nothing greater. I mean, that is just true love. There, it's, if you have a love of a black woman, that is true love. There, because you know what, they're loud and boisterous. But you know what, with that loud and boisterous soul, their heart is just as about as loud and boisterous and huge. They're not all loud and boisterous, Shani. Just like all white people aren't loud and boisterous, like. What do you think that every white or every black person is loud and shit? Like what? She can't. She can't help but be racist. Like she just. She can't help herself. <laughs> it's like wow. I'm just saying. So you know, you could go say whatever you want about me. You could go point your accusations about me, but clearly you do not understand. Melly, you said Shani doesn't watch you in her live streams, so how can this be clip be from months ago? What do you mean she doesn't watch me in her live streams? No one said she watched this during a live stream. Like, did you not go and watch the video that I gave you the link to? Because you're asking the same damn question. My God. Please. And me as stop. a person. Wait until you motherfuckers yeah. find out why I cuss. 
That's going to be interesting. Why do I cuss? There's a there's a really good purpose to it. And it's from him. It's not from me. So anyway, peace, and Mary, and other people. I love you guys. Bye bye. All right. I know the next one we're gonna watch. This one's important for people to see too. Really shows. Shani's true uh, personality because it's pretty awful what she says here so trigger warning again I guess we're just doing a lot of trigger warnings this week every episode is trigger warnings all over the place <laughs> here I am naked in, pe in pain in my bed and I got some like not one not two but just a bunch of fucking good news and seeing just all my enemies go <gasps> down in the floor but not anything I do no it's God 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 is like taking my enemies down and just fucking just <laughs> he's just <laughs> This woman is this happy over what kind of news? There is a God. That's right. There is a motherfucking God. There is no, 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 nothing in my head that says there is not a God. Okay, get this. A man who harassed me for years, I just found out died. I don't have to worry about him harassing me anymore. He's dead. It was like, it was like when Mo the Pagan died. It's the same fucking feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to have to worry about this woman harassing me ever again. It's the same with the other dude. Okay, so so now that he's taken out like two, two, two of my main enemies out right now. Okay, now here's another thing. My she is literally giddy, giddy with the news that this person has passed away. Like, how can you be so happy? I mean, even if I disliked someone. I've, there's never been someone that I've gotten, like, news that they passed away that I was like, oh, yeah, oh, my God, this is, God is so good. Like, seriously? Jesus. Other enemy everyone can know, a.k.a. Charlie Gold, you cannot say anything, anything about me going to jail ever again motherfucking spree free spirits never charlie gold went to jail everyone go into my community tab right now and thumbs up it charlie gold went to jail because she was charged with failure of going to court she was she written to go to court and she failed to appear you can say whatever you say about me, okay? I, I, you could say I'm a motherfucker who gets mad one time, one time and popped off her my, man, okay? You could say that. But I ain't fucking stupid like Charlie Golden decided, oh, I'm not going to go to court. I listen to what the court tells me to do, okay? The court tells you to do something, you fucking do it. Don't be fucking stupid and don't do it. Because if you don't, you'll end up like Charlie Gold. And <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. I, the worst thing you got from me is I got, I got pissed off and I, I got slappy. But I'm getting therapy to correct that. Because, slappy. well, I got slappy and I'm getting therapy in the court. The court Aw, butt chug. <laughs> butt chug 44. Thank you. You said, uh, just wanted to let you know you have a new fan after I did my research. You're actually a real one. Thank you, Butt Chug. I appreciate that. Thank you. Court. This is court ordered, by the way, to go to therapy so I don't let my trauma come out onto other people because it is trauma that caused this. And the court recognizes that it's trauma that caused what I did. 
Charlie Gold, on the other hand, she purposely and knowingly avoided going to court when she written doing that. So let me ask you, what's worse, losing sight of your emotions when you have a mental disorder compared to someone knowingly and acknowledgingly failing to appear at court when they said they were? You're a motherfucking stupid ass. So, I mean, no one no one says anything about me again, okay? No one. Don't say nothing about me going to jail. Don't complain about it or anything. Because you motherfuckers go to jail too. You motherfuckers break the law too. You motherfuckers pop off too. You motherfuckers act like total idiots too. Yep. All of you. All of you. All of you. So, I just want to report this. Let it be known. And I can get a big old pat on my back because I actually did something right. No. Okay? I no. did something right. What? You know? Wow. I, I, I wasn't found guilty of anything within the court, actually. No. I was, uh, what the court found out is I'm a sick individual. I'm, I, I need mental help. Oh, but these other people... They needed to die? I mean, you're literally celebrating somebody being dead and then going, oh, but but I just needed mental help. When when I did something stupid, when I got in trouble, I just needed mental help. But these other people, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> oh, there's a god. Like, what? What? And... There needs to be changes in structure, and I'm going to be helping with that within how police runs things when it comes to the mentally ill. So what? there's that good thing going, too. When are you going to do that? Mental, the mentally ill are going to be treated with a little bit more respect of because of what I went through. What? Wait. What? She really believed that back then? She thought she was going to, like, start a whole, like, movement. A bill was going to get passed. And Shani Dornbush. <laughs> oh, God. Of course she did. Which is good, I guess. Yes. Um, but I'm still no Charlie Gold and, wait, not listen to what the court says. I mean, you really want him that much time in jail, Charlie? I mean, come on. That's just so stupid of you. Why didn't you go to jail? Were you lazy? Go to court. Or court. Were you lazy? Did, did you forget? I wouldn't forget. All right, I need some more coffee, guys. I'm going to let this play, and I'll be right back. I always make sure, right before I have a court appearance, I call my lawyers to make sure what time, what, what place, and you say what... Yep, and I say, get your suit ready. <laughs> so, whatever, whatever. Don't say shit about me and this shit no more. You got nothing on you, okay? And don't say shit about me, period. Why not be kind to me? Because it's obvious God is dropping you down like flies, whoever messes with me, okay? Let's see, Mo the Pegan's dead, Trevor's dead now, uh, Big C had a fucking huge fucking heart attack. Okay, that other fab, fit, and geeky got a fucking car wreck. How, uh, how many of you guys got to drop down before you learn that the Lord's got my back and always will have my back? All I have is my kids, my husband, and Jesus. That's all I have in my life, and that's all I want in my life. Because Jesus Christ is there for me. He's kind to me. He's kind to me. Yeah. When others are like telling me that I'm nothing, that I'm nothing, that I can't go on. And I feel like I can't go on because, you know, <laughs> I can barely move anymore. My body is just so racked. Okay. Which is why we're working on finding a really good GP for me because I, I think something bad is going on with my body. But besides that point, 
There is a time in your life where you have to learn how to be kind toward others. And this is exactly what Charlie Gold deserved. You were mean to Chantel and Amberlynn, mocking them for their weight. For how long? And torturing them. And you end up in jail for not, a, not for written. You promised you would appear in court. And you didn't. You broke the law, Charlie. Worse than I did. And I guarantee you have a better, a greater penalty than I do. Because all I did was just be mentally ill and the judge recognized you need therapy. Yeah. Okay. I need trauma-based therapy. Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything really interesting or good? I can't remember exactly what all is in this. Stream. And I do. Because I was raped by my ex-husband. Oh, and it fucked me up so bad where I have a problem with male aggression, where a man comes near me and I, I freak out, I black out, I do horrible things toward them. And it's all, all, all based on trauma of what happened back in that time. Um, so I, I, and I never dealt with it because I was dealing with trying to survive with my kids and dealing with my abusive fucking mother because she didn't, she didn't, she didn't support me in that. The police didn't support me at that time because marital rape was legal in, in, um, Minnesota, Minnesota at that time. It just recently became unlegal or became illegal to rape your spouse. It used to be legal to rape your spouse. I didn't know that. Um, if I did, I, I wish I never married him. I wish I never, I, I wish I never met him. Wow. Because I wouldn't be going through this suffering right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. So because of all that is stemmed from that. It's always someone else's fault. It, it just, it. It caused something really bad and damaging in my mind that I did not recognize because I was in survival mode. You know, it was like, it was like I got divorced. So I, I had to survive to get me and my kids going. And I couldn't, I, I had a hard time working and dealing with pain because of my fibromyalgia and it was getting so bad and the arthritis was so bad. Or it just got so bad where it just was like every, every shift was just like, Fucking hell, just another day in fucking horrible, agonizing pain. Another day. So I had to survive that of working and, and taking care of my boys and coming home and making them dinner and doing everything a single mother does, you know, while, while having this tremendous amount of fucking pain and pressure upon my body while doing it. Then I ended up with Jason and we had to work through his alcoholism. And if you ever, ever, ever tried to get an alcohol, alcoholic to quit booze, it is very heart wrenching. It's, it, it is, yeah. you have, you sur don't do it without proper, um, supervision. You, they, you need to be in a hospital <clears throat> or under doctor's care. If you're an alcoholic and you are, and you've been drinking and you drink every day and you have a tolerance, you can't just stop um, alcohol on your own. It can kill you. A, a withdrawal from alcohol can kill you. You'll have seizures. Like, Rev almost died from it. He was not right for a long time. So... Just don't take Shani's advice or follow in her footsteps because you could end up really, really hurt or possibly dead. Survive Rev, that sh Rev is really lucky that he made it out of it because he, he, uh, he, he probably came pretty close. Yeah. And then it came to me moving to Colorado and, and trying to restart my life there and surviving that and that. And it was like two and a half years of me on constant survival mode with no fucking break to even think for myself or, or even get my head straightened or even a rest period. 
May 16th comes along. Yeah. I'm like, I am so sick of this shit. I'm not 600 pounds. I am 270 pounds. Get off my channel. Wait a minute. Anyway. 270 pounds. Where did we hear that before? She said that in another stream. That one where she's in the mirror. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? There's no way for years. Like, her weight changed and went up and down. Like, 270 is not. Uh, she She's telling lies. She's telling lies with that. Way less than that. Less than that, Rev? You're out of your mind. Anyway. I bet you're in the two, mid 200s or low 200s. No, I'm too. I'm, no, I'm I not. Bet. Anyway. You look good. Thank you. Anyway. So, I was on survival mode for so long that I did not take care of myself. And my mind being on. And it's really bad for your mind to be on survival mode that lawn i think any 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 soldier or person who's been to war could understand that being on survival mode for two and a half years is just it fucks you up yeah. and i was in war for two and a half war mental physical Rest. stressful hell fucking war it was awful it's been awful. And not only that, top that on top of me beginning my perimetopause. Oh, perimetopause. So uh, my body just naturally, I feel like I'm dying at all times having perimetopause. I'm always hot, cold, hot, cold. You know, it's like, can I just, just be naked under covers at all times? Uh, That's where I'm most, com how I'm most comfortable. You can do that now, praise Jesus. I know. So... It just, it, it, it stemmed to a point where it just, I, I, I popped. And I ended up in jail because I popped mentally. And in, instead of the cops realizing that there was a mental breakdown that was happening, they turned me into a criminal. Yeah. Exactly. And the judge. It was this whole conspiracy just to take Shani in. All the cops conspired against her. Because they just wanted to see her naked. I just recognize that. Mm -hmm. And my social workers recognize that. Everyone who's involved in my life recognize this woman is emotionally and physically exhausted. And she needs her rest. She needs to take care of herself. And I, it's, it's, it's so bad that I can't take care of others at this point. I have to take care of myself. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't want anyone to call anyone. Okay. It's I'm being monitored by social workers and a lot of people right yes. now. And here um, to support you. yes. And, and, and Jason's here to support me. I I'm being monitored by a lot of people right now, a lot of people right now, because I am that bad in my mental state. Um, not because I'm a malicious person. Yeah, David, this is old. <clears throat> this is from February 20th, 2020. But because if you are, if you go through too much at once, it fucks you up. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, but if you can't understand, oh, in two and a half years, a woman was raped. Her house was completely stripped bare, left with nothing, no money, no job, nothing, because the job she ha she was, ha she did have was his brother-in-law's and he got her fired. So <laughs> there was that. So I had no job. I had to restart my life four times. No, five times, five times in two and a half years. I had to restart my life from the ground up five fucking times. Yeah. I was raped. I was abused by a lot of people. And the whole time I had the internet telling me how much of a horrible person I am. How fucked up I am. How, I, how, how much shit I am. How I should die. How fucking crazy I am. And she's still on here. 
and it hurt me to the core and I could not function. So she wishes death on other people. She literally is celebrating people dying in the beginning of this. But now she's the victim because they said that she should die. See how this this doesn't work? <clears throat> she can't she can dish it out but can't take it. Cause in the beginning of this video, she's laughing hysterically that somebody died, saying, Oh, there is a god. Cause this person's dead. This is why people need to start being kind to others. This is why people need to not have this attitude where they're constantly bashing and shaming and hurting others. Because this is what happens. This is what happens. Yeah. That's why I... I I started going after people like Charlie Gold in Life of a Free Spirit because they are the main people that causes people like me to crumble at the seams. Yeah. Huh? You know, it's obvious that Charlie doesn't give a fuck about what the law says, okay? You can say whatever you want about me, okay? I have a mental disorder, okay? It causes me to have blackouts and rage. Uncontrollable rage. Un Do you hear that? Uncontrollable rage. Which means I can't help it. No. Compared to a woman who, who, who doesn't fucking respect. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. If, you, if you're actually trying to say like you have no control over yourself at all, then you need to be locked away somewhere. You're a danger. You're a danger to yourself and other people. I mean, that's really all there is to it. Respect the law. It's obvious she doesn't respect the law. She didn't even appear in court when she promised to. Oh. I do respect the law. Okay? I just... No, you don't respect the law. Because if you respected the law, you wouldn't have broke it in the first place. When you put your hands on someone. That's not respecting the law. Have problems. Here. But I respect the law. The judges know that. The judges know that. They know every time I appear in court, I'm dressed, I'm dressed respectfully toward the court. Most people go into courts in their fucking jeans. Sweatpants. Which, in sweatpants even. Yeah. It's so disrespectful to the court. It's like you can't dress up for the court. You can't put something nice on. Mm. Yeah. It's neither here or there. That's just this just my head. Anyway. Um Yeah. Yeah, Shani, you're so No, classy. no, Charlie Gold, you should shut your mouth about Chantel, Amberlyn Reed, all of them. All of them. Just shut your fucking mouth. Yeah. You have no place. To, to even try to say that you're a better person now when you, you, you're the biggest lawbreaker out of all of us. You disrespected the court. You disrespected the court because you can't even, res you can't even respect your fellow man. Well, of course you can't respect the court. You can't, you can't respect your fellow man. Coming from someone who literally was arrested for slapping her boyfriend in the face. And that was just that time. God knows what other shits went down. Idiots from the Phoenix Gallery. Her blanket hasn't slipped once. Can't she make it a little lower? Oh, damn. There. Are you happy? <laughs> um, demonetize. Demonetize. Play the music, Jason Nash. Whatever. Jason Nash should play the music. I've had rooms <sighs> full of people see me naked, okay? I know that. Well, that's after giving birth. It was, like, after giving... <laughs> I don't know how many people were in my fucking... Really? Room when I was giving birth to... There was a lot of people in my room when I was giving birth to Will. That's cool. Like, his birth was special. 
So, <laughs> in all honesty, I, I, I just, whatever. Don't care. I've had inmates see me naked. Inmates. I've seen inmates see me naked. I, I, I've, fuck, I've taken showers with a bunch of naked females. Oh, here we go. I forgot about this Hoorah. part. Hoorah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. There's a scene. A, a, a sexy, hot, you know, <laughs> boot camp shower scene. Yeah, anyway. With all the fit females. In Boulder County Jail? I'm talking about when I went to the military, dear. Oh, the military. The okay. Navy. I thought they gave you shower in prison. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Okay. And I'm just saying, all us ladies, we all looked good. We yeah, all yeah, looked right. good. Thank we were all, our bodies were rock hard, solid. Like, yeah, we were fucking rocking it, okay, yeah, in those General, showers. General Patton's grandson was like, damn. Well, it was funny, though. The shower scene, though, in separation is completely different. Because at that time, they used to kick people out in the military for being gay. Yeah. So I actually experienced that, seeing people get kicked out of the military for being gay. Wow. So there was, like, about five of these lesbian girls in separation, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, they loved me. They all wanted uh, they Well, there was, there was almost a prison rape scene in in, what? <laughs> in separation yeah so all the lesbians decide i was sitting on the i think i was sitting on the dryer just just chilling waiting whatever i don't know what i was doing i i remember this i'm gonna go ahead and say this now i don't believe any of this is true this whole story i think she made up oh. But all the lesbians came up to me and they started shoving their titties in my face and they said, lick my titties, baby. Lick my titties. All of them. All of them. All oh. of them. Yeah, They were good. Man, I tell you, if I, if, if I was at that time, if I was in my mind now then, I would have gone for it. Oh I would have. Yeah, because here's the thing. These women, guess what they were? They were skinny black women. Oh, I Oh my god, like my type, right? They were my type. What the fuck, Shannon? You had a chance to have like some fine, five, fine ass fucking black women and, and just like, and you just like was like, no, I can't, I'm 17. Okay. Dumbass. Anyway. Could have had some fine ass black women. That just does not sound like something that would have went down in the military. Ah! <laughs> Most people don't have to go to court because they can behave themselves. Can you, Sam? Because you're blocked. I don't hang around with your crew no more. Dude, R2 just zapped Sam. Yep. You hear that? R2 said... Peace out, bro. <laughs> Back to my sexy fucking, like, five girl, like, orgy thing. In, in, in the bathroom of separation yeah they got like this one couple got she was married to a dude too right she and yeah <laughs> they got kicked out because they were giving each other head in the bathroom stall when everyone was sleeping oh my god mm -hmm. wow Holy shit. and every every night their beds were right next to me for some reason i don't even know why they placed them they placed them on the same bunks like, why are you placing these girls on the same bunks when you got them, when you caught them giving each other head? Yeah, so anyway. That doesn't make any sense. So anyway, every night you'd hear it. Every night. Hey, honey, tonight will you do me? And like, baby, yeah. I can't do tonight. I got my period. I'll do you, though. Okay, baby. <laughs> wow. Yeah, right. That doesn't sound fucking believable. <laughs> Hey, you 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 know what? Say anything you want, okay? I've been in I I I've been in trouble. Like, what what people talk like that? Oh, baby, blah, blah. she was talking like a fucking prostitute in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Not even the way a real prostitute talks, like a prostitute from the movie, from a movie. Yeah, baby, you want some of this, baby? Like, just not believable at all.
And then the person, and you're telling me that they said, oh, I, you, uh, you can't do me because I'm on my period, but I'll do you. Like, no, Shani. I ain't buying it. Mm -mm. Nope. Didn't happen. A lot of times in my life, but I've had, I, sometimes getting in trouble and going through bizarre fucking scenarios can be very fun. And funny and interesting. I tell you, if I heard that shit in the bunk next to it, me, it's it's a little it's it's a little bit more interesting than doing the nine to five, you know. Then you know, hey hey Charlie, doesn't jail food suck? Like oh my god, it is so plain. There's like no spice on it. It's so plain. It's like it's like everything seems watered down. No taste, no flavor, nothing. It's oh, disgusting. That's I know. I know it's deliberate. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. You see, this is a mango smoothie. This is nothing but mangoes, like cubed up and like put in a blender. And water and ice. It, yeah, and water and ice. Mango, water and ice. Yeah, it's that's just, it. It, it's, it's so simple, but yeah, it's flavorful. And a shot of shit. I would do you, Shanny, you sexy beast. Nice. Oh, no. No. I, I don't know. Hold Maybe. On. Sexy beast. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know. One more Shanny, time. Shanny, you sexy beast. Nice. She sounded like a lawnmower. I, I don't know. Didn't she sound like a lawnmower starting? Hold on. Tell me that doesn't sound just like a lawnmower. Maybe. Sexy beast. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't care. <laughs> People are freaks nowadays. They want to have sex with everyone. I know. God. Ugh. Ugh. Did you hear about Tana Mojo and, and uh, Logan Paul? Oh, my God. Don't talk about my brother and sister-in-law. Brother and sister-in-law? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I unfollowed my sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. The chat wants to run train on Shanny. I'm not that type of girl. Wow. Nope. Wow. Nope. Wow. <clears throat> Some idiot. Thank you for the super chat. You said my car sounded like that right before it broke down this week. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Some idiot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh. They want to run a train on you. They want to run a train. I'm on pretty, Shani. pretty, pretty sure Ooh. in my bisexuality that I am 95% lesbian. So. I'm the 5% of hetero. Yes, you are the 5% of the hetero because right. you give head. And enjoy it. And enjoy it, yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. So no, I don't want to be trained by penises. If you want to train me, train me with tons, that would be fine. But I mean, oh Jesus, wow. oh Jesus. There's only thirty of us. <laughs> You're funny. I know, right? <laughs> no, I can't stand to look at a man. Men are assholes, man. They just like it's just like, oh look, she's got tits. <laughs> I wanna lick them. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. You're right about that. Though. How about how about make love to my mind, my heart, my spirit? How how about how about my you know spirit. work with that a little bit more? You know because that's. Cause girl, there ain't nothing going on there either. Okay, there ain't a damn thing going on there. You know. Colors get me off, baby. That's what, huh? that's what you liked about me, right? Because I was like, you were like, oh, he's so sweet. 
Yeah, you made love to my mind and my heart. You didn't. You courted me. You treated me like a lady. Yeah. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. And then when I was in your arms, you ravaged me, and it was like, yes. Yes. All right. I am like, I am a pansexual, okay? I fall in love with minds and spirits, not with bodies. Oh, right. Uh, I'll tell you, there are a couple women, though, I am in love with. Trisha Paytas is one. I'm in love with that girl, always will. No ah. matter how angry I get at her, yeah. I will always be in love with Trisha Paytas. She needs Oh, I would love us to have a three-way relationship. That would be oh amazing. God. Yeah, Trisha Paytas. Another one is that. Divaology. I love Divaology. She's beautiful. She's black. She's got those glass, those nerdy glasses that are so cute on a little black girl. Just like you, just want to nibble her all the way. All right. Just, right. And then, and then, and then, <laughs> huh? Who? You know who. Who? Think about it. Who else am I in love with? Well, but you had a love affair with her for like a month, I guess. Who? And then she stopped making content. Who? Siren Cove. Oh, Siren Cove. I'm not into Siren Cove. You were. No, I'm not into Siren Cove like that. Well, then you were. I appreciate her tattoos and her body and okay. how beautiful she is. Right. And I love her mind and all, but I'm not in love with her. Okay. At all. Well, you were for a month. No, I'm not in love with her. I was watching her content. That doesn't mean I'm in love with her. You said, okay. Well, you said it. About well, anyway. The three-way relationship. You said that about her. Yeah, I was just wondering how you felt. Oh, that's what that was about. Yeah, okay. it was a test. <laughs> oh, you freak. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's fair enough, Ryan. Because every time you saw her, you were like, whoa. No. I Come love on. you. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. There's no children here. I know there's no children. That's why you're nude. Your children were in the house. Yeah, that's a good point. I wouldn't be nude. No, you wouldn't. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, mm. God. Whoa. No, not too dirty. Sorry. Because, oh, my God. Demonetize for kissing. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they have kissing like that in G Disney movies, dude. Come on. <laughs> They don't want to see us really kiss. Maybe you do want to see us no. really kiss. OnlyFans.com. No, no, we don't. have an OnlyFans. We don't want to see it. I could have an OnlyFans. I bet I could get some money. How, who would buy my OnlyFans? Listen, tell them to go to Revelation News uh, Patreon and pay for the shanty uh, and Rev Naughty Talks if they want to see kissing and shit. Because we'll do that for them. Yeah. Ew. I guess so. Content on Patreon and say fuck YouTube. Make content on Patreon and say fuck YouTube? We could. Promote it. Yeah. Because I would give you the money for my shit. I def buy your... If that would give you the money for my shit... Wait, 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 wait. What did he just say? Uh, and Rev Naughty Talks, if they want to see kissing and shit, because we'll do that for them. Yeah. I guess so. Can we make content on Patreon and say fuck YouTube? Make content on Patreon and say fuck YouTube? We could. Promote it. Yeah. Because I would give you the money for my shit. I def buy your- Because I would give you the money for my shit. I wonder what he was talking about. Say fuck YouTube. Make content on Patreon and say fuck YouTube, we could. Promote it, yeah. Because I would give you the money for my shit. I def buy your OnlyFans. Ha! Oh! All right, that's it. Starting OnlyFans, we're doing it. <laughs> Do it. Oh, this was before the OnlyFans? <laughs> Shower time with Shani. Oh, uh, no. Bath time, though. No, bath time with Shani. Yeah, because we could get away with that without you having to show your tits and everything. Yeah. We could get away with that. Wow. <laughs> what is OnlyFans? That didn't age well because he, they showed everything. OnlyFans is a website where you put videos on for your fans and your fans pay you a certain yeah. amount that you you decide to 20, pay. 20, 30, 50, 
Yeah, it could be like twenty dollars a month, ten dollars a month. Trisha yeah. Paytas right now is selling her OnlyFans for eight ninety nine a month, and she does oh, everything. Yeah, she everything. Does everything. Well, well, masturbate wise, and yeah. well, she did give head in one. She said she fucking blew it, dude. Yeah, oh I think it was Sean's actually. I would love to watch that actually. Oh Jesus Christ! You gotta see Sean Vanderbilt's dick. Well, Sean Vanderbilt wanted to see me. He came on to me. So, anyway, <laughs> everyone in Hollywood fucks each other. Just accept that, yeah, dear. Suck. <laughs> suck account. What? I think we want to see you and Rev go at it. This uh, is becoming a thing now. I know, right? All right. We could tell them the one time we weren't online, but I was watching the camera, and it looks good. It does look good. I just need to get a little bit slimmer in the gut area. Or maybe you could just go in what God gave you as and just make yeah, money. I'm comfortable with the way I look. <laughs> I just, for other people, yeah. it would be nice if I had a little bit of a svelter stomach. I, I want to see Rev eat Shani only fans, Mookbane. Oh my oh, God, that's what we could call no. it, though. Rev's Mookbane. Rev's Mookbane. Oh my God. God, that's naughty. Uh, we, we could do that. We could angle the camera up and down, <laughs> and they could see my technique and everything. <laughs> that would be cool, actually. <laughs> Rev will give you some tips. I could, actually. But that's for me to know, damn it. <laughs> okay, you want to tell them how you feel right now? <laughs> All right, I'll make a deal. Give me the fucking camera. I'll make a deal with you folks, all right? Oh, God, it's If rev. you really want to know the rev technique of eating out. Oh, my God. <coughs> Ew. We could do that on a Just Fans. But look, the oh, only way... We could do that on a Just Fans. <laughs> what a boomer. <laughs> we... <laughs> oh, this whole thing. Good Lord. We could do that on just fans. I know the rev technique of eating out. <coughs> we could do that on a just fans. But look. Sock account says, this was three years ago. I was on a lot of drugs. <laughs> oh God. The only way I'm going to start to give those technique techniques and telling you how I do it is if you're giving Shannon a hundred a month, okay? <laughs> what? Because seriously, I do know my shit with eating out because I studied it, okay? What? So if you want those techniques, you're what? paying a hundred a month to start. That's just rev. Are you serious? A hundred dollars a month to see that? To see you teach? No way. No way. <laughs> oh, my God. Billy, thank you for the super chat. You said, um, he has just been sitting in the bathroom for the duration of the stream. This is so weird. And then he comes out to start talking about all of this. Like, ugh, cringing so hard. Beginning level. Okay. Okay. So if you want those techniques, you're paying a hundred a month to start. That's just beginning level. Okay. <laughs> That's beginning level. I can I can get this woman to squirt like a river. All right. That's it. A hundred bucks a month. How did I study it? It's called the internet. Oh my god. Who? <sighs> God, did he really just say I can, that? I can get this woman to squirt like a river, all right? That's it. A hundred bucks a month. How did I study it? It's called the internet. There you go. A hundred bucks a month. It's called the internet. Okie dokie. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You said some people need re remedial classes. Oh, Lord, how mercy.
I did not remember it being this uh, graphic the first time I watched this. I have seen this one before, but I don't remember all this, or I might not have chosen this one to be the one to start with. Then they get my techniques of eating you out. Because I make Crimea River goes on here when I'm down there. All right, folks, a hundred bucks a month, and you'll have women squirting. There you go. This is a weird, weird video. video. It's probably gonna get demonetized and banned. No, it's gonna be like this is eighteen plus content. Yeah, you always are. Whatever. You're never children's content. Mm -mm. Neither am I. Mm -mm. Neither am I. Charlie Gold right now. This is supposed to be about me and you're talking about you. <laughs> it's okay, Charlie. You're in the, uh, you got jail cred, so. You have a lot of viewers right now. Uh-oh. You have 38 lives. Damn, Rev is an OG. <laughs> Did you just hear him? Oh my god, that's so sad. Let me go back. That was sad. Charlie Gold right now. This is supposed to be about me and you're talking about you. <laughs> it's okay, Charlie. You're in the, uh, you got jail cred, so. You have a lot of viewers right now. <laughs> you have 38 lives. Damn, Rev is an OG. <laughs> She has 38, 38 live viewers. Bless their heart. Mm -mm. Shani, you're a lucky lady. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he does look I am. Greasy. I will teach them how to do it. I, I, I hit the gold mine, man. Baby. A man with money knows how to eat puss. Oh, God. Spoils me rotten, fucking is worships me. Yep. I hit the gold mine. As a matter of fact, I have to go right now to get your gifts. Oh yeah. The Yeah. You, you got could, the Jeffree Star stuff. You could right? unbox them live. Well, I don't know. If you want to. I'm not dressed. Well no, not right now. But I mean you could do that. You could you could end this hangout and make an unboxing video. We need late night talk streams. Call it Shanny and Rev After Dark. I like that. Shanny and Rev After Dark. Yeah, and you take a bath. Oh, God. I take a bath. Yeah, you're in the bath, and I could film you I, I, from the shitter, because that's my spot, the shitter. And absolutely. Because that's his spot, the shitter. Why is that your fucking spot? That is so weird. Back How romantic. Home. That is romantic. We could have a little candle in there. <gasps> a little candle. We're going to talk dirty. We're going to talk about dirty stuff. <laughs> How bubbles all over me. I'll yeah, bubble it up. What? I have to learn how to do that Onisian thing where he's like... Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You said he can't find a job, let alone the man in the boat. <laughs> Thank you, very good. This is about to get really funny, okay? Just wait. Watch what Rev is about to do. What an Isian thing? <laughs> Where's my kombucha? <laughs> I'm covered in kombucha. Did you see that? Let's watch that again. <laughs> Where's my kombucha? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Did Rev have like weight loss surgery? Because he used to, he had to have been pretty big to um <laughs> have all that. Does anyone know if he had like some kind of weight loss surgery or that was that just the wet brain? I'm covered in kombucha. <laughs> I'm covered in soda. But yeah, he does this thing where he makes his arms really tight and he bounces back and forth. 
He was dressed as a clown when he did it. Remember that? <laughs> I am atheist. I am atheist. I am atheist. I'm going to hell. I'm a atheist. I'm a atheist. I'm a atheist. I'm going to hell. And he's dressed up like Satan. Oh, yes, see, and there's a video for him. You just make the video. Just shout us out. Why do you not like me? I am Onision. I, uh, 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 uh. I had my clown mask in there somewhere. I'd put that on for you and do, just do this. It's really creepy, you know? He had a mallet, too, and it was with his real doll with a camera, and he smacks it with the hammer. You, won't, you, you, could, you could use that. What? What? Your lightsaber. Why? Yes, that is Pikachu with a wig on. Vader's saber? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. What? What? Ow! See, that's how Vader's saber gets you. I'm not on the dark side. So I'm not supposed to wield this thing. But the Lord Jesus allows me to, but he burnt me with it this time, okay? Folks? <laughs> you want different stances. Okay, here we go. Here's the Jedi stance. Where's the hilt? Okay, like this. <laughs> That's the Jedi stance. Vader's like this. He just holds it like this. Like that. Obi-Wan. Well, no, yeah, Obi-Wan's that. The Jedi stance. But that's the Jedi stance. You never see Vader hold it like that, do you? Because he knows that's how the Jedi hold it. He don't hold it like that. He's like, I hold mine like this. And I'm just going to chop your fucking face off. I'll force choke you and then chop your head off. Wow. Vader, it's two moves. You're done. He force chokes you and then cuts your head off. It's over. <laughs> That's some lightsaber tutorials. These, right? these two are like officially just. Oh, you want to show it. how little that gun is? What? You want to see how oh, little. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Here's my 1911, full size 1911, all right? We're also living in Tokyo, Japan. Here we go. All right. Now I'm going to shoot somebody. Boom, that shot it. Here's the clip. All right, you want to see the bullets? This might hurt a midget. There's the bullets. It's a mini model, folks. Okay? It's not a real gun. Okay? <laughs> but it's very cool. Okay? <laughs> Why That's does he have all this folks. weird shit? <laughs> Grab him, Shanny. Mount the Revenator. Oh, oh my. Wow. Rev looking sexy, sexy in the Reptar shirt. You like the Reptar shirt? I'm yes. Looking, all right. Oh, look at that ass. I'm looking sexy in the Reptar shirt. Uh, Don't you dare moon. I'm not going to moon. Would I do that to your channel, honey? Possibly. Would I do that to your channel? Possibly. Never. Raw papers, Mom. Stop. No. Cigarettes. Rolling cigarettes. Okay. Raw anyway. Raw papers. I have to go get your gifts. All right. Later, dear. Later. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Gavin. Gavin, he can eat that. He's so cute. Oh, uh, anyway. Uh, he just totally, like, I, my mind is just like, what am I, where am I? He just left me. My brain is just went, bah, bah. Yes, private time with Shanny. Unzips. Oh, dude, no, please don't, don't. Ew, no. I, I'm a mother. I've had children. No. No. I'm just in my blanket because I am perpetually having these horrible hot flashes. Like, you see how my face is getting red right now? There we are. Perimetopause is probably the worst thing I think I've ever gone through. Oh, my gosh. So. That didn't age well. He's coming up. Wow. Dark Star F.
307. Your Uber drive, your Uber ride right now is going to cost you 950 to get home. Also, yeah. my Uber driver said $40 ride is at least two cities away from my current location. Wow. Oh. Don't say anything incriminating. What? Don't say anything incriminating. Cue the crocodile tears. For what? Are there any herbal supplements you can try to help with my perimenopause? Um, all I'm doing is just go stick into a vegetarian diet. Are you okay, dear? Yeah. What was the oh my god? He feels like he's going to have a you heart attack. You feel like you're going to have a heart attack, but you're all right? Well, hopefully he'll come back and live. <laughs> Why does a vegetarian diet help? Because you're not getting influenced by extra hormones that's in the meat. Yeah, like, to help the hot flashes and hormones and stuff. I feel like Natural Store would have stuff that might help. Lee. Yeah. I've, I, listen, all, all people tell me to do is just try to just take cold baths, drink cold ice product waters, try to, try to avoid meats and anything with hormones in them. Uh really it's nothing you can really do it's just part of the natural natural process of what a woman goes through it's nothing i can do about it it's just what's going on with my body i'm getting old i'm freaking racked i'm i'm drying up folks this old woman's dried up that looks like a baja blast are you colorblind I heard jumping jacks help. Go. You really want to incite freaking hot flat? My boobs would hit my fucking face. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was 14. 14 was probably the last time I ever act. No, 18. I was in the middle of no, 17. 17 was the last time I did jumping jacks. And I already had like big boobies then. And it hurt. Jumping jacks with big boobs hurts. Why does jumping with big boobs hurt? Well, going down the stairs, like running down the stairs, that hurts your boobs too. Not mine. Just it, it's just like it's just best if you have big boobs. Don't jump. It hurts. <laughs> it, it'll just be a punch in my nose with one boob, and then a, a punch in the other with a gut. You know, it's just like. One boob up here, one boob down there, you know? Do your boobs hang low? Do they wobble to and throw? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? I don't, I don't know. Wow. Do your boobs hang low? Do your balls hang low? Do your balls hang low? Um, I, 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 I think my boobs are perky for the size they are. I'm just saying. I think they are. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'm random right now. Just ignore me. All right. I'm going to go take off. I said what I needed to say. Charlie Gold went to jail. Don't ever talk shit about me ever going to jail again. Your goddess just went to jail. So congratulations. Blah, 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 blah. Complain all you want. Blah, 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 blah. Charlie, welcome to the jail cred game, honey. We're both fabulous little lawbreakers here. Bye. Lord have mercy. <sighs> oh, Hillary, thank you for the super chat. You said plants have hormones too, for fuck's sake. <laughs> thank you, Hillary, for the super chat. Um, okay, so here's the deal. I am going to take a quick break and get something to eat. Um, and then I'm going to come back on in just a little while. And I've got actually 
Hillary's video, um, she did a um, video addressing some of the recent happenings, and I thought um, she did a really good job, so I wanted to review that and cover that on my channel. Um, so, I just need a little bit of a break, go get something to eat, and um, chill for a few minutes, and then I will um, jump back on. And just a little bit. And of course, if, you know, Rev and Shani go live or something like that, anything happens, I will um, jump on and bring that to you as well. Um, but either way, even if they're quiet, you're going to have something to look forward to this evening because I will be coming back on regardless. So I'm going to find a song to play on the way out. And I hope that you guys will all come back in a little bit and um, hang out. And we'll watch Hillary's um, video or uh, and or Rev and Shani update stuff. So um, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Let's see. What's a good song? We're going to go with this one. All right, guys. I will see you in just a little bit. Consider this, consider this, end of the century, consider this, the slip that brought me to my knees failed, what if all these fantasies come failing a dream that was just a dream that's me in the corner that's me in the spot like losing my religion trying to keep an eye on you and I don't know if I can do it oh no I've said said enough I thought that I heard you laughing I thought that I heard you sing I think I thought I saw you try but that was just a dream try cry why try that was just 
just a dream, just a dream.